Go over there, Shai. You see the window? Right. There, there, there in the window. It feels really good to see Shai in his element here in Israel and makes me think about how cool it would be to live here and have Shai enjoy it all the time. I trust my instincts. I think Lauren's gonna like it here. I don't think she's gonna like living here. Why? Lauren's an independent person. You know, she's not as fluent in the language as someone who lives here. She doesn't know a way around where is she going and what is she doing with them? What do you mean? Well, school for sure, one and two for sure. The third one within six months go to daycare. Right, care. okay. So. so now she's gonna take three kids to daycare where she doesn't even know where it is. We'll find where it is. Yes. <laughs> She'll mm -hmm. know where it is. I'll take one, she'll take another one. She'll go to Ulpan for six months at least three times a week to learn Hebrew. There is a whole thing. Also, when you make Aliyah, the government helps you with a lot of things. There is a lot of help. They encourage people to move. So if Lauren comes here and six months later, she says, Alex, I tried it and I, I just, I, I can't do it. Then what? Do you think if Lauren is so unhappy and impossible to leave her, will I be able not to come back? Will I be able to stay? Lauren's parents are not getting it. They keep hearing all negativity, all negative things. Whenever you move to a new place, you're gonna have problems, you're gonna have things that you have to overcome. So her parents are really getting ridiculous. I don't understand. It might not happen overnight. It might not happen in three months or six months, but she is not gonna be happy here in the long term. I, I think you're wrong. Okay, I think I know my daughter. I think I know her better. Okay. I disagree. I disagree too. You, However... You can disagree, okay. but I'm married to her for eight years and I can tell you with the whole heart that I think that I know her better than all of you. She's known I'm, her for I'm sorry. 33 years. I know, I know, as a daughter. Okay, this is a perfect example. Will you know if she's miserable? Of course, you know, you know your daughter, oh, no? Oh, I do. So is she gonna hide it? Me, she would tell. I don't know if she would tell you. Oh, I think on. she would just stay here to please you. Right, because oh, she knows on. how important it is to you. No. I don't believe Alex knows Lauren inside and out. Only a mother knows <laughs> really everything about a child. And I do, I know when Lauren's holding something back, she will forego her happiness to keep the peace. However, she won't take it out on Alex because she saves that for me. Do you think you can have the lifestyle here that you can in the United States? Yeah, maybe. You can do that here? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. but you know you can there because you do. Yeah. Well, I, got, I, got to, I got to say something. There's no way that I'm ever gonna support this before I speak to, or you speak to an attorney. Because if it doesn't work out, and Lauren wants to go home and you don't, mm -hmm. I wanna know who legally has the right to those children. Israel's a very cultured country, it's a, but it's still a Middle Eastern country with old fashioned ways. And I wanna make sure that Lauren has the rights to those children. They're her children, she carried them. You know, I watched too many of their movies. And Israel is a very progressive country, um, but it's still a Middle Eastern country. Because in many a movie, the man has the right to the child. And I'd hate to have to smuggle those kids out of Israel back to the United States. Yeah, we're not gonna get into that. Me and Lauren are not going to a divorce attorney to find out what happens in case we break up, or who gets the kids. We're not even talking about that. I think it should be discussed. I think it should be at least researched. I'm not going, I'm not even in. So then we're done here. Yeah, I'm not even. And there's nothing to discuss. He makes up his mind and Lauren goes along because she wants to please him. Lauren has no backbone when it comes to Alex mm. and he doesn't want to even discuss concerns. So I'm done. I got nothing else to say. I'm sorry. Okay. That's fine. 
Her dad brought out like custody battles kind of thing. Like how did he even think about that? I don't know where it came from, but obviously like they don't give us credit. They think that I only rule this house. No, Lauren is very strong. And they say she has no backbone. Like she has a lot of backbone. She's, she knows what she wants. Yalla, let's go Shai. I mean, it's one thing to question things, how, where you're gonna live, but to bring lawyers into this and talk about custody, that's, that's too much. That's really not okay. Shai, who's there? Look who's there. Oh. Look who's there. Hello. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. It gives you a breath, so that's it. Hi. Hello. Hi, Mama. <laughs> Why is everybody so quiet? I have no. I had a great day. What's going on? Ask them what their uh, mm -hmm. concerns are. Just concerned about a few things. The Israel move, of course. Like. Well, like, Lauren is not gonna like it. There's no way she likes it. We know our daughter. There's no way she's gonna like it. Are you gonna? I be didn't able... point my finger at you once. We That's said... exactly how you said it. We. S I did not yell yes, at you, you did. like that. They said we know her better. She's not gonna say with you. She has no backbone. And I said no. I know her very well. And then I, at some point I said probably better than you at this point. Oh, mm. that he knows you better than us. The more we talk about it, the more I get like pushed back. It's not to you personally. But to who else? Dad, why are you being so quiet? What do you have to say about this? I said a lot today. And you're not going to like it. Okay. Any of it. I told Alex that you need to speak to a... It's not a divorce attorney. Who a else custody, deals with this? Custody, custody attorney. attorney. I, what is I, that? I, I think you should know the custody laws of Israel. Israel is a very modern country. It's also a Middle Eastern country with very archaic laws and things. And who would have the right to those children? You have to find out, would you even be allowed to take the children back out of the country? Because that's a, a real possibility in the Middle East. Oh, that's it, I'm out. We want other Lauren, things stop, for our family. Please. Wait a minute. Them too much, don't. Oh, it's cool. So I guess we're... Going. Oh, I thought we were going to take you them can discuss so you guys this. can check. A custody lawyer? What the f I'm really pissed he went that way. Like, I did not think that after seven years I still have, you know, so little trust and he has so little trust in me. I think at some point he will come to realize that if we decide things, we're going to go through with them and if he against it, he's going to lose us forever. No, that's it. I don't want them in here. Please leave. <laughs>